Well, South Dakota's three game winning streak came to an end over the weekend at Northern Iowa and here to talk a little bit more about that game is Coyotes head coach Bob Nielsen and Bob. This one certainly got off to a wild start. That first quarter featured over 300 yards of total offense combined and 35 points. Just not what you're used to seeing anytime a Northern Iowa defense is involved. So were you as surprised by that as maybe everybody else in the building? Well, it seemed like that uh, first quarter wouldn't end uh, <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. Uh, a lot different game than what we probably uh, uh, both of us uh, thought was going to be with uh, big plays and mm -hmm. and uh, obviously we moved the football really well um, and uh, if somebody would have told me 35 points I, I would have been really surprised. Yeah and the, uh, the defense has kind of settled in in that second quarter a lot less scoring it ended up being 24-21 in favor of the Coyotes at the half you had three turnovers in that first half though uh, so did you feel okay about where things were at, given that fact right there? Yeah, the message at halftime really was, uh, you know, we, we had the lead and were capable of playing a lot better. Um, you know, to turn the ball over the times that we did defensively, um, actually uh, held uh, in a couple of those turnover situations, uh, you know, gave up the one uh, uh, defensive score, which was big. but. You know, really felt that our guys were playing with a lot of confidence and uh, we're going to go out in the second half and execute. That second half started and, 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 and going back the previous three weeks, your defense just had not allowed a whole lot in the way of explosive plays. But you and I able to put together seven of them total on the day, including a couple of big ones there at the start of the third quarter. Those long touchdown passes to their talented wide receiver Isaiah Weston. Um, was there anything specific that jumped out when you went back and watched that as to why they were able to hit you over the top like that? Well, you know, the first one, uh, the first one was just a, a good play uh, by them. Um, you know, we were we were in a coverage where we we're supposed to be on top of the route and, and got ran by, and they made a nice uh, throw and catch. Um, you know, the second one was a blown coverage, um, which are the kind of things that you can't do. We had them in a third down situation where actually. Uh, we should have had Weston doubled, uh, safety tilted the wrong way, um, and as a result, uh, you know, gave up a play where if we could have made him hold that ball for a fraction of a second longer, we would have sacked him. And, um, you know, those are the kind of things that good teams take advantage of. Um, and, you know, we've been a good team the last three weeks. We've, avoid, we've, we've uh, been a team that's executed and took advantage of those kinds of opportunities, and unfortunately we didn't do that on Saturday. Uh, those big plays, the six total turnovers, certainly two of the major factors in why this game turned out the way that it did on Saturday. And both of those things certainly can be classified as self-inflicted. So uh, is that the miss, maybe the most disappointing part? This is because you guys had things rolling at such a high level over the previous three games, and to come in and have those types of things cost you a football game yeah you know we uh, during the first three weeks of the season we made some of those kinds of mistakes um, as we got rolling here we really eliminated those kinds of mistakes both offensively and defensively we've done a good job taking care of the football um, and uh, uh, done a good job uh, keeping the, the game in front of us defensively and um, you know, we we uh, we pressed a little bit. I think uh, you know, playing in that kind of environment on the road. Uh, you know, we we had some guys that I think pressed a little bit, and as a result, you know, maybe tried to do a little too much, uh, and uh, the result of that wasn't good. Uh, do you take any consolation in the fact that those those things were execution type things, and if you clean those things up going forward, they're things that can be. Correct, and it's not a, a not a talent issue here. You guys are right in that game with a really great chance to win if you just eliminate some of these small mistakes. Yeah, that was the message on Sunday. Is that uh, you know we 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 have to eliminate those kinds of mistakes. At the same time, we showed that without question, uh, we were a team that uh, could have won that game. Uh, a team that had the ability, uh, had we executed better at, at critical times, to put that game in the win column against one of the best teams, and not just in the league, one of the best teams in the country. Now, how do you carry that forward and, and get this thing back on the rails quickly? Because obviously, you don't. The last thing you want to see now is one loss turn into more than one loss, right? Like it did earlier in the season. So how do you convey that as, as you got a Southern Illinois team coming in here with a little bit of confidence on Saturday after a, a big win for them against Youngstown State over the weekend? Well, I, I think it's really, uh, you know, an easy message for our guys. Um, you know, we, we talked about it uh, Sunday after the game that, hey, that, that game goes in the books, just like the three wins before that went in the books. And, you know, we've, we've got to shore things up 
um, go back to, to playing the kind of football uh, that, uh, that we have been playing in, in that win streak. Uh, Southern Illinois is going to challenge us in a lot of the same ways that Northern Iowa did. Uh, they've got a lot of big play potential. Um, you know, defensively, they're similar in that uh, they rely heavily on their defensive front to put pressure on the quarterback. And so uh, it's a game where our guys can truly go out and, and redeem themselves. All right, Salukis, as we said, coming in here Saturday. We will preview that matchup coming up a little bit later on this week.